everybody, I'm Dave with Oregon Hot Tub and today I'm going to show you how to use your AquaCheck True Test Reader to test the water chemistry of your hot tub. So what you're going to get when you buy the kit is you're going to get the uh, test reader and you're also going to get the testing strips. So what you do is you remove one of these test strips and on one end is going to be three colored squares. So you're going to take those colored squares, place them face down into the hot tub and make three circles. You want those circles to be about 12 inches in diameter. So take the strip out, don't shake it off, just keep the water on it as it is. Take your reader, press the power button once, and the screen's going to read on. So you take your test strips and take those colored squares, place them face down inside the reader. And the water will kind of hold that thing in there so it won't uh, go anywhere. Then what you're going to do is press the bottom left button, and the screen's going to start flashing on. That means it's testing the water on the strip. So what this is testing for, it's testing for chlorine and bromine levels in your hot tub depending on what you use in your tub. It's testing for pH level and alkalinity. And so once you get the numbers on the screen, you'll be able to compare them. It'll say whether it's high or low or okay, but you can also compare that to the uh, recommended ideal levels that are on the back of the test strips. So the test takes about 30 seconds or so, so we just got our results. So our chlorine level is, says it's low, it's at zero. Our pH is at 8.4 which is a little high, and our alkalinity is at 57, which is uh, a little low. So again, whatever your results are, consult the uh, ideal ranges that are on the test strips, and if you need to make adjustments, consult the instructions on your chemicals at home and make any adjustments that are necessary. So once you're done, just gonna simply pull that test strip out, and whenever you have at home, like a Q-tip or even just the corner of a rag will work, just stick it inside the area where you put that test strip, just dry it out, remove any of that excess water. So once you're done there, you can just press the power button again, powers it off, and you're done and ready to go again. So if you own one, now you know how to use it. If you don't own one, we do have them for sale on our website at OregonHotTub.com. Thanks for watching.